that is wrong and it must be put to an end. The veterans, the veterans in this country are the backbone in this country and they need to be protected. And every single veteran standing on this platform today voted to leave the European Union! We voted for you and we voted for our children and our children's children. And you know something? We won! We won! We won! On that day, for the men standing on this platform who fought for freedom, voted for freedom! We voted for democracy! We voted to get back our sovereignty! And we want that sovereignty now! And I think today, today is a special day, isn't it? Is it something meant to happen today? Didn't, didn't the wicked witch of number 10 Downing Street promise us something today? She said we would be leaving the European Union on the 28th of March at 11 o'clock. But we're leaving! We're leaving! Whether she likes it or not, we're leaving. Yes. Anybody that served in the military know that a war, a war is not won with a single battle. We fought the first battle with a referendum in 2016. We've got to go on to win the war. You see, we have a treasonous Prime Minister. We have a Yes, let's give it a boo. The treasonous Prime Minister. We have a treacherous Conservative Party. And an even more treacherous Labour Party. We need them out, out, out. This great country used to know how to treat traitors. Two hundred meters from this very spot, on the 30th of January, 1649, the traitor king, Charles I, was taken out of a first floor window, a banqueting house. He was put on a scaffold like this, and he was beheaded! Now please, ladies and gentlemen, I would not encourage any such action whatsoever. We are a peaceful movement. We are a democratic movement. But friends, you have a weapon. You have a weapon in your hand that is powerful and is dangerous. Your vote! And we can execute these wretches, these traitors, at the next election. Electorally, we can behead them with our votes. Your vote is the execution of acts that will remove them from power. Many people have said that we shouldn't bother voting anymore because our democratic decision has been ignored. Hang your heads in shame if you've said that. We must vote more, more, more. Those traitors have conspired against the will of the British people. They betrayed the British people. They betrayed democracy. It's time for them to pay. It's time for them to go. I dropped my stick. And finally, finally, I have a message for our politicians and for the people on the Leave side. We must unify. People, 
people want a Brexit party, there is one. It's called UKIP. We need to vote UKIP. We need to support UKIP. And we need to join UKIP. But I also have a message for UKIP. There's a man standing 10 feet away from me on this platform called Tommy Robinson. He must be allowed to join.
We are afraid to use the term defence union. You know what to do now, i.e. deception. May Steel puts Her Majesty's armed forces into an all-in defence union scenario with no way out. And whenever May's government says security, that is defence union with the UK in as a full paid out member. The EU already has a foothold in HQ Northwood that is staffed by up to 100 EU personnel and furnished with not less than two EU flags with yellow fringe detailing. They are military or admiralty flags which make the statement that the EU is in charge. The government is still denying EU military unification despite growing awareness of it in the public domain and verifiable intelligence gathering. Why? Well, it involves speaking the truth. So